One of the results of the use of the phonetic alphabet was that Euclid could indicate the properties of visual space in his geometry. Visual space, unlike any other of the sensory spaces, visual space is pretty well taken care of by Euclid, who explored most of its dimensions. You've heard of non-Euclidean geometries. Well, in the electric age, the non-Euclidean geometries have come back, and Euclid has been put aside. But with the arrival of Euclid and visual space, you've got a very strange possibility which Plato seized upon, and Plato developed his highly systematized philosophy, even more systematized later by Aristotle, his philosophy of the ideas and the idea of rational control of the passions and of the world of nature. Now, this Platonic universe of abstract truth and abstract ideas is inconceivable without the phonetic alphabet. This alphabet gave people some very strange habits, too. It filled people with the idea of imperial domination. Western man, with his alphabet, has always felt it mandatory that he impose it upon all other people. He must spread civilization by spreading literacy in all directions. Now, the Romans were the great implementers of this technology. They seized upon this form of writing to codify their laws and to make them uniformly applicable to all men. The idea that civilization, meaning a visually organized set of rules and laws for men in general, the idea that such a thing should be spread to all nations coincided with the rise of Christianity. As far as I know, Christianity has exactly nothing to do with the Greco-Roman idea of civilization. And so it is very mysterious that Christianity should have undertaken the job of spreading Greco-Roman alphabet. At the present time, the church is very doubtful about the matter of spreading Greco-Roman ideas any further than they've gone, and the Third World doesn't want them. The Third World doesn't want Greco-Roman Hellenistic institutions. The Third World being the non-literate world. So it's helpful to know the origins of the alphabet and of civilization and rationality in that sense, because we have come in the 20th century to the end of that road. And it's a considerable revolution to have been through 2,500 years of phonetic literacy, only to encounter the end of the road.